Hey guys, my name is Corey. Welcome to the Weekly Word. I've been trying to do this uh, a video every day, and it's been honestly just kind of hard for me to put it into practice, more or less. Um, it's pretty, I mean, like, it, honestly, it doesn't take much for me to come up with a video idea. Usually, because usually I just pick something from uh, just some revelation I've had during the week or something like that, and um, and I think, and for this idea, for this video, is, is that, is this, is that, um, is actually about ideas and making videos and um, what I want to be careful of, um, which is something that's really, really beautiful, I think, is um, I don't want to, or it, when we start doing things like this and doing, start doing ministry things, and um, especially those that might want to start preaching or teaching or um, things of that nature, um, it's it's really, it, it you can start try to meet with God to have revelations so that you can teach, which like in some senses that's like kind of what revelation is there for, because it's not necessarily for you, but it's for others. Um, but then you can, you can start developing your relationship with God based off of you preaching. Um, so basically what I mean is that you can meet with God so that other people can receive from it. So it's like, it's almost in a sense, um, that the only reason why you're in a relationship with Jesus is so that other people can be in a relationship with him, which when, I, when you hear it that way, you're like, well, yeah, isn't that, isn't that part of the deal? It's like, it is part of the deal, but ultimately Jesus wants you. Right. From for so for my for an example for me is that me sitting down and reading scripture isn't so that I can come up with the next big revelation so that I can give you, but actually it's for me to to um, it's for me to just just receive him and uh, to be a part of him and to um, actually I just saw this quote um, today today or yesterday. Um, but it was by Saint Bernard of Clairvaux, and um, it was posted by another another guy, uh, and it and it was the <laughs> the gift of seeking Jesus is Jesus Himself. <laughs> that's it's definitely not the exact quote, but but ultimately it's it's the goal of us to, to the goal of our life with God is is to be with God. It's not to be known. It's not so that you can get into heaven, really. Like that's part of it. That's part of the fact that when you see, find God, you you receive, you get to you go to heaven because that's what He wants. But ultimately, it's that you get God, you you receive Him, um, and that's that's important. And uh, I think that's that's what I want to share with you is that is that as you go forward and as you lean into God, um, as you move forward and continue your relationship with Jesus and he starts revealing more to you and you start finding out more of him um, and you find out more of yourself even as you move forward is, is that you don't give up the idea that actually Jesus is the prize. The prize of your friendship with Jesus is actually your friendship with Jesus and nothing else. It's not everything else being added unto you. Right, it's, it's seek first the kingdom, and everything will be added unto you. And a lot of times, we seek God in order for Him to be to give us the things that we want. Right, that's this is this is the part of it too. Is that that sometimes we we go to prayer, we say, God, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this, and which is good. It's good to intercede for things. It's good to pray for things. But it's not good to go to God and ask Him like He's a genie, because <laughs> He's not a genie. He's a father. And just not any father, but a father who actually wants to sit with you and listen to you and actually for you to, to relax with him, like, just to rest with him. Um, and I'm learning, and I'm learning that. That's something, I'm, I'm not good at that. I'm, I'm learning this part that it's actually out of, I mean, it's out of rest. And I'm learning that he's a father who wants to rest with his kids and play with his kids. Like, just enjoy life. Um, it's probably the hardest lesson I'm learning right now is 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 that he wants to enjoy life with you, um, and why is it why is it hard? It's because I've been so used to I've been so used to doing things for God, and and that God is specifically in one area. So like he is he is at church, 
or he's at ministry, um, but ultimately God is not just at those places, he's in me, and he actually wants to, to develop a relationship with me, and, and friendship with me, and, and go about my day, and go sit in coffee shops with me, or go on walks, or hikes with friends, or, or go to, you know, go to the river, or go to the lake, or um, he wants to do those things with me too, like everything, once you have a relationship with Jesus, everything becomes sacred. You know, there isn't there isn't a divide between sacred and secular, or or, or church and and uh, not church. You know, it's everything is unto the Lord once you follow Him, because it's it's seek first the kingdom and everything, and everything will be added unto you. It's seek first Him. Um, that's why Paul talks about pray unceasingly. Like you can pray unceasingly. In order for you to to pray unceasingly, it means you need to be, you need to keep keep looking at Him and understanding Him unceasingly. Um, and that's my challenge. It's my challenge for me, and it's my challenge for you, is that as you move about the day, seek him unceasingly. Try to keep him on your lips. Do that by adding, maybe add alarms to your phone, or um, having something in your pocket, like um, if you're Catholic, rosary, if you're, if you have a cross, put a little cross, or buy a little cross, or a rock that reminds you of Jesus, or something. Something along those lines that's that like if your hand touches it or it's like oh Jesus thank you and you just constantly have him on your lips. Um, yes. Anyway, thanks for listening to the weekly word. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week.